What's up, Fight Fans? This is JD of BBTV News, and I'm back with another quick update. All right, y'all know I try to give y'all the skinny in about three or four minutes or less, so let's jump right into the latest news. So today, news was finally announced about the return of the bronze bomber Deontay Wilder to the squared circle. Now, we all know that he's take, taken an extended layoff ever since the final bout with Tyson Fury, where we saw him put on a great effort that earned him fans worldwide, even though he suffered that defeat to Tyson the Gypsy King Fury. Now, this fight is going to take place on October 15th, back in the Barclays Center, and this will be his return against Robert Hellenius. So, right quick, before you ask, like, who the heck is Robert Hellenius? This is actually one of Deontay Wilder's former sparring partners. He's been in the camp uh, for the most recent Fury bout, as well as other fights throughout Deontay Wilder's career. So this is actually an opponent who is relatively familiar with Deontay Wilder, which adds a level of intrigue to this bout. Right now, Robert Hellenius is only 31-3. and three. Uh, One of those losses was to Dillian White back in the day, but overall, he currently is riding a three-fight win streak over the last three years so he got a w in 2019 2020 and 2021 and now we're here in 2022 and he's got the opportunity to cash in on the biggest payday he's ever had in his career against the bronze bomber deontay wilder so that is the opponent he's going up against uh he's hails from finland he's known as the nordic nightmare and he's definitely coming to bring the pain against Deontay Wilder. He boasts somewhere around about a 60% KO average. So not great uh, power like Deontay Wilder has. But nevertheless, um, Robert Hellenius definitely has a level of power that could definitely do some damage to Deontay Wilder. Now, as for De- Deontay Wilder, he has stated that he's most definitely happy to be getting back into the ring. He said that he went back and forth over whether he should return or not. And he ultimately decided that he has a lot more to give the sport and was ready to return to the ring at this moment. Now, the biggest level of intrigue to all of this is that in the same week that we get the return of Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder, we had Tyson the Gypsy King Fury end up saying that he was going to come back and fight Derek Warchasaur, but ultimately end up saying that he was going to retire. So now, if we factor Tyson Fury out of the heavyweight equation, we are now sitting in a situation where we could see Deontay Wilder end up facing off against Anthony Joshua or Alexander Usyk in the near future. Now, after the Robert Hellenius fight, in the most recent interview that Deontay Wilder did announcing this fight on the PBC podcast, Deontay Wilder has confirmed that after the Robert Hellenius fight, Assuming that he gets through this fight without any type of trouble or any type of severe damage, he is very much open to the winner of Lewis King Kong Ortiz versus Andy Ruiz as his next bout. He said that that is a fight that would be very, very easy to make since they are all a part of the PBC stable. And so that could potentially be a fight that we may see in possibly December or early part of next year assuming that Deontay Wilder beats Hellenius, and then we'll see who ends up winning out of that intriguing matchup between Lewis King Kong Ortiz and Andy Ruiz. But nevertheless, Deontay Wilder said that he took a good bit of time off to spend time with his family, venturing to making a little bit of music. He's got a single out uh, with an Afro beat to it. So he's been uh, dabbling in the music scene and really relaxing and unwinding after a hellacious trilogy with Tyson the Gypsy King Fury. Now, intriguing enough, Deontay Wilder said that when he took the break from boxing, he totally disconnected from boxing, period. He said that actually his wife probably watched more boxing over the past year or two than he did. So after that last Fury defeat, he really totally disconnected to get his mind body and his spirit back right to enter into the ring and be ready to go yet again and again another thing Deontay Wilder mentioned is a lot of people oftentimes feel like when fighters like him who who've reached the pinnacle of the sport 
and who have had a lot of major paydays. A lot of times when they come back and fight fights like this, he feels like people start to assume that it got to be money problems. Man, Deontay Wilder is saying that right now he's actually making more money outside of the ring than actually in the ring. So he said that this comeback against Robert Hellenius is 100%, 1,000% all about legacy and giving people what they want to see and being an inspiration to a lot of people who see him as a leader for them. So we'll see what Deontay Wilder does when he gets back in the ring with Robert Hellenius. We'll all be tuned in to see the return of one of the most entertaining people in the sport, Deontay Wilder, when he returns October 15th in the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York, to take on Robert Hellenia. So stay tuned. We'll see how it all goes down. But until next time, BVTV News signing out.